Alright guys, welcome to the video. So today we're gonna do a quick uh like a quick character guide because why not man? I'm honestly running out of ideas for ABA because right now rank is kinda bad for me because I can't even like rank as fast as I could when I was like doing rank climb videos. I couldn't rank as fast because right now if you lose a match, even if you win matches against like low low people like if someone's like 90 and you're 100 even if you win you get like one point for them from them but if you lose you, they, you like you lose like a 10 points so it's kind of stupid how the how they set up this system now which is not even fair to people who like are having like a bad day they lose one match and lose a whole bunch of uh points so yeah kind of bad i'm not gonna lie but it's supposedly supposed to help people from not reaching us like from not keeping the number one spot, which is really stupid because you made it harder to reach the number number one spot. So it's <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what kind of logic was going on there, but it's it's harder to reach the number one spot for a uh, rank. And it's easier to keep it since you can just freaking oh my phone and off. I'm sorry, I gotta put put down the mute. It's easier to reach not reach, it's easier to hold the number one spot because of uh you don't have to play. You legit don't have to play. Because if the the person below you keeps losing the keeps losing matches, their either will go down, and but it, it doesn't make sense. Like if they and the same thing can happen to the second place winner too. They don't have to play the game either. They can just stay there. They don't care because they can just stay there, and yeah, it's just stupid. If they don't, if nobody can reach up to them, they can. It's just, it's just like a constant cycle. It's not even funny, man. I don't know how to explain this. If I'm, if I hope I'm explaining this right, but just know that you can't reach the number one spot as quick as, as quick as you used to, and you can just lose so much points just from losing matches against per, against people who you fight who are lower ranked than you. It's dumb. I'm not gonna lie, man. It's it's really dumb. But it is what it is. I can't change a thing. I'm a small YouTuber, so my word doesn't my like my what's it called? My opinion doesn't matter. So. Let's just do character guides, man. Um, let's help out the newer players that are trying to get into the game and like decently old players who like don't understand much characters or don't understand like how to play this character right. But yeah, firstly about Zabaza, don't ever use his four. His four is a no go. Um, you always want to keep your uh, freaking sword because it gives you like a M1 boost. I'm not sure how that. Look how far that. Look how far that is. Look how far that is, man. Yeah, you always want to keep your sword for Zabuza. It's so stupid. His M1 inch is so stupid. And it's really good. And but yeah. If you throw his four, you'll end up it's not it doesn't block for either, so yeah. You won't end up having that that insane M1 range. You'll just have like fast M1s for no reason. And you can always go pick up your sword, but at the same time, you can have to like run and just block, hoping you can get your sword before they use a move or get you. Because after that, you, I don't think you can use your moves either without your sword. Let's check. Because I haven't checked that either because I never threw my sword. Okay, let's try our three. Yeah, you can use your three, but it's not going to do the, the the animation to do the extra damage. I'm pretty, yeah, you can use your one and two. Yeah. But yeah. I never throw your sword. It's not even worth throwing your sword. So, lastly, um, how to do his ladder. His ladder is kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. It's weird. Because you're going to have to... It's like really good if you have information on all of the characters guard breaks or not because it depends on depending on which character you try to saddle with it will not work out like let's see uh rock Lee, like two examples rock Lee and uh kit uh kit sasuke so let me show you the ladder score break them real quick let's do our ladder let's do this so yeah, that's the basic ladder you can do with Zabuza. But the thing is, once you try to hit them with the deep, the the I'm just calling it card three. Uh, once you try to hit them with your three, Rock Lee or Sasuke, someone who has a graph move, can easily escape it because they can just grab you mid animation and they won't take the damage from it. So if you if if you're up against someone like that who has a grab move, uh, you can always just like switch over your ladder and go to the hit and miss ladder, which is really insane. You can do that. Oh, I messed up, man. Let's uh, we try this. 
up in the air basic ladder and once you do that you get the extra 21 damage which is uh gives you from the hit and miss i'm pretty sure you can do it again no it's over after after you hit them with after you hit them with uh the hit and miss combo or hit, hit and miss uh ladder you won't get the attack damage buff you usually get from it it's already wasted so yeah which is really good because sometimes it's really hard to hit like uh land the uh damage the damage off with the hit and miss and if you didn't know the hit and miss once you're in hit and miss you get an extra boost of damage so yeah um that's probably why you get that's probably why you see me get away getting so fast with opposite because i always sometimes i always do the hit and miss combos to the uh de deep cat oh my god deep cat oh my decapitate i'm i can't even say words man i'm sorry but you can always you can always switch up the ladder it depends on who you're fighting or it depends if you don't have your uh your three if you use your three to break uh guard break them it's still gonna be worth it because oh I guess he fell. It's still gonna be worth it because uh, you still do insane damage if you don't have your uh, what's it called? If you don't have your three, like that. It's so easy to do it, man. Uh, that's why Zombus is such a good character to, uh, to play because he's so friendly to new uh, new players and he has a good kit. So water clone. The thing about water clone is that don't try to use it when you're fighting like crazily. Like here, I'm gonna show you in a second. Like this. Don't try to like do this because it can they can easily be they can easily be blocked and once you're like one side blocked they can pretty much use a move or anything like anything like that and just get you an M1 combo it's like not worth it and the most times I use shadow clone instead of, like as a dummy like it's just, just to bait them out or just like when I'm running around them I could just do like I could just do this and just like something like that just don't try to use your combo uh, your shadow uh, your shadow clone for like ladders because it won't work you get end lag. Which is really smart of them, cause they don't have like three freaking ladders you can use, which is dumb. <laughs> but yeah, it's you get end lag. It's not worth doing it. Yeah, you get end lag when you do it. But yeah, uh, shadow clone. Just try to be sneaky with it. Try to get some cheeky, cheeky damage off of it. If not, just use it as like a, what's it called, as a decor or something like that. It's it's not it's not worth it to use that much. Just like spam it whenever you can, or when they, or if you're trying to get someone who has like a like a Rasengan or a Shidori, just use it, just, um, what's it called? Summon it in front of them, and we'll just take, it'll just take the, it'll like body block and take the damage for you, which is really good. So, yeah, um, moving on to his Awakening, let me kill these clones real quick, I'll be right back, or these dummies, we're right back, guys, so, yeah, his Awakening, okay, so, let's, let's, let's talk about his Awakening real quick, so, well, I don't honestly, as I mentioned like in my last episode video, I like the water dragon buff, but I kind of don't like it anymore because it, it makes your vision kind of blurry when you, uh, like not blurry, it makes, your, it makes it hard to see where they've been hit at. Because whenever I, whenever I, uh, in, when I, whenever I play Zabuza in the old, before you guys, like his water, water dragon update, I will always like combo it with Haku and just do so much damage. But right now it's kind of hard to because of the freaking... The little, what's it called? The little freaking, ah oh man, I forgot what it's called. The smoke effect. Yeah, the smoke effect, it does. It's kind of hard to see where they've been hit at. I wish they reduced that like a lot, by a lot. Cause it, is, it doesn't need all that. It doesn't need all that smoke effect. I don't know why they added so much smoke effect. And especially if they jump up, it's gonna be kind of hard to see where they're at. So yeah. But yeah, what that's what I always used to do. I always used to use my one, and once they got hit with it or they got guard broken by it, I would use my three right off the bat, which is which is just which is just insane damage. I'm not gonna lie, man. It did it did insane damage. But yeah, that's the that's the only thing tip I can give give to you about his uh, water dragon. Try to what's it called? Just try to get them an M1 combo, and then not M1 combo. I mean, try to try to hit your Haku off once they get water dragon. If not. It's gonna be kind of hard to kill them because you won't do as much damage and you have to wait on your card break but yeah you can only use water dragon two times this time i think you used to be able to use like three or four times in this like old awakening his old water dragon you used to use three or two three three or four times i forgot how many um but yeah now you're gonna use now you're gonna use it two times which kind of sucks i'm not gonna lie man it really sucks but yeah so some tips about his uh, awakening is not worth using your water dragon if you're fighting someone that's like Aizen or uh, Grimjaw 
because they can just easily counter your move like afro samurai as well uh who else gilgamesh yeah man you're gonna have a hard time finding people in your awakening with if they if they uh if they're in their base form because they can just easily counter you but yeah um i think my last tip i can say about zabuza is that he his hit and miss is like an iframe it's like if you're gonna get hit like by an explosion or something uh or like um a dragon not a dragon ball freaking all uh, um spirit bomb you can iframe it by using hidden mist and yeah it comes in handy and plus it does damage so yeah it's such a really good uh move for people to learn especially for pe newer people who are learning how to iframe stuff it's really easy to use but yeah um that's all i gotta say about zabuza man um zabuza is such a all-around good character and i recommend you should buy him if you're starting the game out if you do if you like looking for to um someone someone else to buy if you want to ask me a question if i should buy this character or not go ahead man i'll, I'll, I'll be happy to help because i'm do i'm trying to do is like help newer players or help like older players understand how to play the character right and yeah i think it'll be fun i think it'll be a fun series doing this i'm not gonna lie man it's gonna be like really enjoyable trying to uh teach other people what i learned through my whole entire years my year playing aba but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video um let me know what you guys think of it i hope to see you guys in the next video or if not i don't know man <laughs> uh leave a lot uh tell me tell me where i can do different um i'm uh, i'm gonna be adding gameplay to this like each time i'm gonna do like a freaking like a i'm gonna show you something i'll just like cut to a gameplay or just like overlaps it i'm not sure how i'm gonna do it i'll figure out one alien ellie editing editing oh my god editing the video there we go but yeah uh as always guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to comment down below uh comment down below on who uh who i should do next if not i'll just make a poll and see if they uh see and see if uh see what the people want but yeah um i was gonna do a shira video also let me know if you guys want to see a shira video i already have the footage but i'm i'm not sure if you guys want to see it right now because it's kind of boring but at the same time it's just how it's just, she was like so trash man he, he wasn't done justice I feel like he could. I feel like he could have been done justice. I'm not gonna lie, man. His base form is so garbage. But yeah, that's all I gotta say. As always, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.